the Tammy Bradley Show, and I am Tammy Bradley. This week we'll be at the Louisiana Film and Video Magazine networking party. So let's head over to the red carpet. Scale, uh, 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 up Tammy Bradley. Yeah. We are here for the Tammy Bradley Talk Show. We're here tonight at the Louisiana Film and Video Magazine meet and greet party. It's over here at the old Mardi Gras World on the West Bank, and we're having a great time. Yes, we are. Yes, we're going to interview some key people in the uh, New Orleans uh, and Baton Rouge film industry. And uh, right now we have the host of the party, Andrew Vogel. Yes, the main man. Right Definitely. Yes.
brought me in to stay in there for nothing. And uh, he and I hit it off, and he invited me to go back to LA, stay on nice and great, and uh, just an incomparable learning opportunity. Did you have a pinch yourself and say, I'm doing it? <laughs> all the time, yeah, I mean, it's really, like, I still, it's, uh, looking back on it, it's still kind of like, oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, that really, that really happened, you know, I was just on set by Dustin, learning from a master's degree. Okay, I'm going to get serious with you here now. Uh -oh. Now, this whole governor trying to put the, you know, cap on the in tax incentives for filming here, what do you think about that? I mean, it's just, it's the biggest why you can imagine in a big game. The industry is one thing we'll be standing up right, you know. I've seen those guys grown up here. It's like you always see sort of the, the missteps. And and we nailed it. We've got have the markets exceeded everyone's expectations. And uh, just it, it makes, you know, why would you want to change it? And that's really the poster boy is someone who, who had to, to leave, uh, you know, to, to, to have that liberty. And then came back with everything rolling. And uh, let's, let's keep it rolling. Some of the big things that you've done. Just go down the list because I have it here, but I'm too uh, I'm too over reading right now. Well, I, I, my, my biggest one last year was the, the campaign. I played Will Ferrell's intern in that. Well, intern, intern, turned campaign manager. Okay. Uh, and then this year, uh, earlier this year, I had Parker come out in theaters with Jason Statham and Jennifer Lopez. Oh. Uh, All right, love me some Jayla. Oh my goodness, it hurts. I uh, Jason and I have worked together three times now, and so you know it, it's always good to, to get into guy stuff with him. But uh, Jennifer and I were, were completely different locations. So uh, uh, yeah, okay. we shot in Ohio here in Miami, and she was all South Beach. You know, so her, now that's her backyard. Yeah, just rub it in. I know. I've never. <laughs> got, I signed on to the project thinking like I get to, <laughs> to hang out with Jennifer. Right. And right. Be, you know, but, uh, but did you ever tell anybody that you did that you were actually a friend of Everything. And, and like the gym has become this character. 
and it was, I, it was a, it, for six months I was another person and they looked at me that way and I kind of stayed away from everybody so I have to take, um, I guess what happens is you have to take all your energy and effort and time to create this character to make it real so you have to divorce yourself from your life before that and it's not an easy thing to do you're becoming a, you know, an alternate person. You know, you're not yourself anymore. You're trying to. I, I got you. I know where you are. So, like, you done? You, you have a role on Treme? Yeah, I was on Treme on the earlier season. I played a prison boy. Okay. First season, yeah. And so, how was that? Because it actually did pretty good. There were a lot of times where it was rumored that it was going to be off the air, and then it wasn't off the air, and. You know, so I don't know if you were part of that roller coaster ride, but you know, being that it had a, a few good seasons, yeah. how do you feel about that? And how do you feel about the role you play? Well, I like the part where it was one of the first moves about New Orleans after the change. Uh, they had KB on, but KB wasn't really successful, which it may was. So I was a part of the initial season when it came out. We have to be part of that. And that was probably my first time on a, on a large set where you had over 100 people. So being in a situation where I just started acting a few years prior, and now I'm in a situation where I'm, I'm working with people, you know, like, like Melissa Leo, who I won an Oscar, and, and working with nationally recognized directors and producers, and being in a set with over 100 people. So just the progress that I've made over, over the prior few years, so to get to that point to be on today, it was very satisfying. Oh, it was right. an enjoyable uh, opportunity. I, you know, I love this man. He is so, you can tell he's so appreciative, and you know, there's no attitude that comes along, you know. Yeah. You are you, you are a real man. I like that. Very humble. Yeah, humble. Definitely humble. Last question. What about the tax incentive that the government, the governor, you know, might try and impose on the uh, tax incentive for the film industry? How do you feel about that? Uh, of course, you know, uh, it's not something I approve of, and I think that the analysis is faulty. They're saying they're losing, they're losing money because they're not getting the taxes. But if it wasn't for the taxes, they wouldn't be here to lose money. Exactly. So it's better to get a little of something than nothing of nothing. You know, so uh, before they had a tax incentive, how many of these films were actually shot in these days? Very few. Now you have, you have over 100 films shot in Louisiana, you're employing people, not only the actors, people behind the scenes, uh, people in, in different industries, like the food industry, uh, uh, clothing industry, all types of uh, hospitality industry, hotels, restaurants, and, 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 and the film industry has to become an ambassador of New Orleans worldwide. When people see movies, they see the movies in New Orleans, people go check New Orleans out. For the last few years, the only popularity has risen over the last few years. So why would you do anything to curtail that and, and keep, the, keep the flow going? You're not losing anything. You know, so I, I think it's, it's more it's more of a political move uh, for the government to show, to show the rest of the country who's the ultra conservative. So uh, I think he's trying to have a bit for the presidency. I think it's more of a, uh, a show move than a real move. That's my, that's my opinion. All right.
I got to see this. Jason Statham film called Homefront, 
I got my first action adventure movie at the age of, uh, 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 and I kind of feel like uh, uh, Danny Glover and Lethal Weapon, I'm getting too old for this, because uh, I have a lot of shooting guns and car chases and all that stuff. Now, did I read something about you being the preacher in the curious case of preacher Yes, but don't ask me to heal you because uh, I had a heart attack in that movie and I don't want to have another. Oh, that was a wonderful experience. I got to work with David Fincher okay. and also with Brad Pitt. Yes. And because of my relationship with David Fincher, that's how I got on House of Cards. Because David is one of the executive producers of House of Cards.